what you will need for this DIY pool heater, four hula hoops, four pool noodles, four black trash bags, duct tape, and a box cutter. The next step is to get a trash bag and put it around the hula hoop. Once you do that, tuck in the edges and put duct tape over them to secure all of the edges and make sure no water will get into it. Taking a pool noodle, you want to cut it about a quarter of the pool noodle. Then you're going to take the pool noodle and cut it lengthwise so that it will stick on to the hula hoop. So you're going to take the part that's cut with a hula hoop and stick it on to the hula hoop creating a floating device. Once you complete the previous step four times on the floating device, it is ready to float making sure that you have the pool noodles on all four sides so that it floats efficiently in the pool. And make sure you do all of these steps to ensure that you have four good heating floats and they should work right away. Um, ours worked within one day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an enlightening and adventurous day. Happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there. To help celebrate Father's Day for my dad, we went out to Porto and I had an arugula salad and vegan pizza and my dad and my brother had some other pizza that wasn't vegan. And then we made our way to the concert to see the Violent Femmes and listen to our favorite song, Blister in the Sun. I left a few clips in here for you guys to enjoy. I hope you guys all had a happy Father's Day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Have an enlightening and adventurous day.